Welcome back, continuing the news. Concerns from banana farmers in St. Mary and Portland this evening over a new type of banana they were told to grow for banana chip production. Well, the farmers say the two main chips producers now have more banana than they can handle, and farmers are suffering. TVJ's Kalish Krista Campbell reports. Fear bananas, larger than the robusta bananas Jamaicans are used to, and more resistant to diseases, so they require less to maintain. Farmers in St. Mary and Portland say they've been told to plant more fear bananas for the production of banana chips, but now they have a problem. Nobody don't want it to eat, so eventually we don't even going to have one to eat in the valley, a good robusta banana to eat. Everybody can have this banana, which are we you know, everybody falling back from this banana because the cheese man don't want so much banana because everybody planting it. I was throwing away close to 2,000 pounds of bananas weekly from my farm in Portland. Partly because of the job and partly because um, Jamaica Producers Group and Chippies have been overwhelmed by the amount of bananas that they have been getting. So with an oversupply of fear bananas to the two major chips producers, Jamaica Producers Group and Chippies, the farmers have been pushing to get the $10 million needed to complete their own chips manufacturing plant in St. Mary. They say the agriculture minister intervened to get a loan from the catastrophe fund set up to assist farmers in times of disasters. So he asked the banana board who was present at the meeting to lend us $10 million out of the catastrophe fund money and that that money would be replaced out of his supplementary budget come November. He has written a ministerial note to that effect, and to date we have not gotten one cent. The lack of action in really completing this facility is now sending the wrong signal to farmers that they are now digging down their banana fields. When TVJ News contacted Minister Without Portfolio in the Agriculture Ministry, J.C. Hutchinson, he assured farmers that the monies have been approved and will be taken from the government's supplementary fund. He says it should be distributed by next week at the latest. The All Island Banana Growers Association says once the factory is complete, it will be one of the biggest economic drivers for the agriculture sector. The only other company in Jamaica that would have had more modern equipment than us would be Jamaica producers. We will be having a lightly salted product for the persons that are health conscious, hypertensive, and we have the regular chips. And with the challenges banana farmers are facing, he says the factory will make chips from other crops and encourage diversified farming. Breadfruit, dashin, cassava, um, yam, Sweet potato. He says a stock of service parts will be stored for the factory's fully automated production line. The association hopes to go to market with its banana and plantain chips by the end of this year. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.